Hey, how's it going? This is Melinda and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a couple really cool box sets from the Beatles and Prince. I found a couple other really nice records that I never see out in the wild. And I've got an incredible gift package from VCLT, from Mazzy, from the Norman Maslov channel. I will go ahead and get started with a box set that I knew I was going to own, but I thought it was going to be quite a ways down the road because of the price. Well, the night before last, I could not sleep. At 3 in the morning, I was checking out my phone and looking on Amazon, and I ran across this box set, and there was a major price drop, so I ordered it. And I'm so glad I did. It is Prince's $19.99. This is the 4LP box set. There is a 10LP box set you can buy. It has the silver background. There's also just the 1999 um, LP that you can buy on purple vinyl that's been remastered. This is the one I wanted to have, just kind of the in-between. This is an incredible album. I love that uh, it is in a box. I love the packaging of it. I think the artwork is so pretty. And it came with a digital download as well as um, here is the hype sticker to it. I'll read the hype sticker because I think it really explains very well what is in this package. Uh, the first two LPs are $19.99 remastered for the very first time. And I do not have an original 1999 album that came out in the early 80s, but I do have one that I picked up a couple years ago. And I do think this one is a better version. The music is crisper, a little bit louder, a little bit better. You just hear more with this version. I don't think his vocals are any different. I didn't really notice major difference in the vocals, but I did notice differences in the music. So I did like that. Also, LPs three and four are remastered seven inch edits, 12 inch mixes, and promo versions of songs. And this is my favorite album by Prince. I absolutely have always loved it. Purple Rain taught me what an amazing guitar player Prince was, but this uh, 1999 album before Purple Rain taught me what an amazing musician he was, just an absolute musical genius. This is the first LP. I love this picture of him with his guitar. I will show you the LP or the vinyl. The labels are all the same, so once I show you one, you've pretty much seen them all. Here it is, it's on that iconic eye label, and this is on 180 gram black vinyl. You can buy a purple uh, vinyl uh, for just the LP if that's what you want, and that would be a very cool one to have as well. Here is LP number two. This is the most iconic picture of Prince that I remember being a teenager and going to a friend's house and hearing this album. So I remember that one. Here is LP3, a very cool picture of Prince. I love the smoke around him, just a really nice picture. And this is where the uh, edited versions and different um, versions of these songs come in. And it is, there's a 1999 7-inch mono promo only edit. There are a couple of Little Red Corvette dance versions on here. And How Come You Don't Call Me Anymore is on here. It's the B-side of 1999. Lady Cab Driver 7-inch edit. Just some really cool stuff on here. And then for the final LP, I love this picture of Prince, very 1980s jacket, just iconic. And it comes with, I love the song Automatic from this album, and it has a seven inch edit of Automatic. It has the video version. There is a edited version of DMSR. And Let's Pretend We're Married has a seven inch edit, a video version, a mono promo only edit, just some really cool stuff on here. And uh, one of my strongest memories of this album was when I was a teenager and I had some cousins that lived in another city. I remember them going to the basement, us going to the basement together and playing the song, Let's Pretend We're Married. It was the first time I ever heard it. And I was a pretty innocent girl, so my jaw dropped. Compared to what you hear nowadays, it isn't anything major, but it was pretty uh, jaw-dropping for me at the time. 
So I really love this wonderful album by Prince. I was very excited to go ahead and pick up this box set. So very happy about having that. Also, last week I made a trip to, my husband and I went to Florida. It was a road trip, 80 degrees on the beach. It was absolutely wonderful. And we did stop at some record stores along the way and I will be showing some videos about those record stores coming up really soon. There was one record store on the way home we stopped at and Tim of DJ High Noon recommended this particular record store. It was called Triangle Records and I found a couple of things in there and I would have loved to pick up more but I could only afford two different records. Here is one of them. It is Phil Spector's Christmas album. It is one that I did a couple weeks ago, a top 10 favorite Christmas songs of all time. A lot of people who viewed that video recommended this album to me, including Cindy from Mama Bear Vinyl. She showed it on her channel really recently. So I saw this, I picked it up, it was a blind buy. I'd never listened to it before. It is on the Apple label. This is a, an early 70s reissue, I believe. Once I started listening to it, I recognized the music immediately. It is songs from The Crystals, The Ronettes, Darlene Love. Honestly, I've heard Darlene Love Christmas music my whole life. I just didn't know it was Darlene Love. So really, really great stuff on here. And also there's a movie that I love for the holidays called The Holiday. And one of these songs on this album is featured in that movie and I just really enjoyed it. So thank you all so much for the recommendation. It was really, really, really good. Here is another album I picked up while I was at Triangle Records. This is Oliver Stone's, uh, this is a soundtrack for The Doors, an incredible movie that I do remember seeing back in 1991 with a couple of my girlfriends. One girl in particular that was a friend of mine and I were huge Doors fans. We wanted to see this movie and I remember feeling really sad at the end. I've not seen that movie since then, so I would love to see it again. But I remember being very sad and just what a what a waste of, a, of an amazing talent and a huge band that could have done so much more. I think this cover is so cool. I really love the cover of it. Um, there's no new, anything new here. It is the soundtrack and they did use the Doors music. It wasn't Val Kilmer singing. He was the star of the movie along with Meg Ryan. Here's some pictures from the movie. So there's no real, um, anything new here, but if you are a Doors a vinyl collector, this is really a cool one to own from 1999. You just don't see it every day, or at least I don't where I'm from. So here is the vinyl for that one. Really good shape, sounds good. So very happy to have the Doors soundtrack. And now I'm gonna show a box set that I really was looking forward to owning and I got it for a really great price. It is the Beatles, uh, the Singles Collection. It is a really incredible box set and I really think it's beautiful. And I am a little late to the party on becoming a Beatles fan. I've only been a true diehard Beatles fan for a couple of years. So many of you have been lifelong uh, Beatles fans and have been able to collect all of the singles on picture sleeves for uh, so many years. And uh, with me just coming into it a couple of years ago, it is really hard to find beautiful picture sleeves with records in really good condition. So to have the opportunity to buy 23 of the singles with uh, picture sleeves from all around the world and labels from all around the world. I couldn't resist picking this one up. So I'm gonna show for you the, uh, I'm not gonna show all 23 of them. It would uh, take too long. I'm gonna show you some of them that have my favorite artwork. These aren't necessarily my favorite songs. They're all amazing, but these are my favorite artwork. So I'll start out with this one, The Beatles, We, uh, we Can Work It Out, and Day Tripper, such an, and I do really love this single. It's really great. But I thought that picture was really cool and unique. And here is the label, and I'll pull this one out. It is on an orange Odeon label, made to look just like the original that came out, in, and all of them are in different countries, like I said. So the next one is a really cool picture with John Lennon, Help, uh, and it is backed with I'm Down. 
So just a really cool picture sleeve, and it is on this black labeled Parlophone, Parlophone label. Here is All You Need Is Love. Again, another really cool picture of the Beatles in color. And uh, Baby, You're a Rich Man, which I love both of those songs. And it's on this green Odeon label. And they are all from different countries, and I would have to stop and look closely to tell you which is which. But uh, I think you can get the idea. This one is a Japanese one. And I think this is cool because this is the only one that has a gatefold. I just think it's a really cool picture. I love all the colors on that one. And it's Lady Madonna and it's backed with the inner light on this Odeon label. This is truly one of my favorite 45s ever made of the Beatles. There's several of them, but this is one of them. Get Back and Don't Let Me Down. I've always been a very big fan of that picture. I think it's really cool. And it is on this beautiful Apple label. I love both of those songs, so that one was a really great one. Here is one that is exclusive to this box set and I thought was really exciting. I have the songs from the anthology and uh, anyway, this is a double A side of Free as a Bird and Real Love. These came out in the 90s when the anthology came out and it's on, again, the Apple label. So those are just some of the wonderful 45s that came in this box set. It also came with a really cool book that shows different pictures and talks about all of the singles, which, you know, for someone like me who is still learning the Beatles history, it's a very cool and educational read. So I really appreciated it and very happy to have this Beatles box set. And now I'm going to show a couple really special packages that I have received from Mazzy. His channel is the Norman Maslov channel. Uh, Mazzy has probably one of the best music collections that I have ever seen. He's very knowledgeable about music, but he's also a lot of fun. He's very funny. He's got a really what he calls snarky personality that I really like, but he's also just a genuinely caring person who loves other people and he has been so generous to me as well as so many people here in the vinyl community i have seen him just generously give and give and give and uh, i have been the recipient and hopefully i will find something very special for him very soon but anyway i did a few videos uh, back there was record store day black friday I showed the records that I picked up. There was one from Cheap Trick that I was unable to get. And of course, his next comment um, down was, I have a copy of it if you wanted it, it's yours. And I did offer to pay him or do a trade. And hopefully we will do that sometime soon. But he sent this to me. This is Cheap Trick. This is a live album. It's a performance that they did. It's called Are You Ready Live from December 31st to, um, in 1979. To me, that is really special because I honestly remember the New Year's Eve being a little girl on December 31st, 1979. It's something you remember because it's the turn of a decade. I'm going from the 70s to the 80s. And I remember being with my mom and a friend of hers and her son and us having the little New Year's Eve hats and the little things you blow into to make noises and watching Dick Clark and when the uh, clock struck and it was uh, 1980. I just remember that so well. And this is when that performance was. This is my favorite era of the of Cheap Trick. I love the Dream Police era. This has got a really nice gatefold with really pretty pictures, like a picture of the concert ticket. And it has a lot of my favorite songs on here. I have really enjoyed it. So I was very excited for him to send that my way. Um, it is on a um, reproduction of the iconic Epic label. Uh, I remember the most and probably my favorite Epic label, although the 80s one is awfully iconic too. So I thought that was really nice. Two LPs, lots of great music. Thank you so much for that. But of course, in typical Mazzy style, that is not all. He also sent for me, um, for my jukebox, Santa Claus is Back in Town by Dwight Yoakam. And I love Dwight Yoakam's voice. I was a huge country fan in the early 90s when he was singing A Thousand Miles From Nowhere and Fast As You, 
huge fan, love his music. So that was a really cool 45. Here is Brenda Lee, Jingle Bell Rock and Winter Wonderland. So that is another one. And it's like he has a musical store in his house somewhere and he just goes in and picks out things because they have the proper um, labels, the proper sleeves, everything is like it's brand new. Also, Emily Harris's Light of the Stable, a wonderful Christmas song that's really beautiful. Emily Harris has a really great voice and this is very uh, enjoyable. On the Reprise label, so very happy to have that single. He gave this single to me several months ago, but along in this package, he gave me the jukebox strip, the title strip for this single and I was very excited to have that. It's vintage, it's adorable. I was very surprised that he parted with that out of his collection. So that was a really great one to have. He also threw in this Carly Simon, the best of Carly Simon. This is one I see often, but I never see it in beautiful condition. And this is one that, it just looks brand spanking new. It's gorgeous. Has great songs on here, like that's the way I've always heard it should be. The Right Thing to Do, Mockingbird, You're So Vain, Night Out. The one song on here that is very popular that I'm not crazy about anymore is Anticipation. And that is because if you were my age, you remember the Heinz ketchup commercials where the ketchup is supposed to be so rich and thick that it takes forever to come out of a bottle to put on your hamburger while the song Anticipation was playing. So this is a great album. It's just Heinz Ketchup has ruined my love for the song Anticipation. But thank you so much for that package. But that was not all. I did a couple weeks ago a video about my favorite Christmas songs of all time. I had a top 10 and of course if you all know me I'm a huge fan of Paul McCartney. So Wonderful Christmas Time was in my top 10 favorite Christmas songs but I did not have a copy of the original 1980 vinyl. So he sent me a message again saying I've got an extra copy I'm sending it your way. So here it is not a crease or crinkle per perfect beautiful condition. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reggae is on the other side so I was so excited to see this. This was back in the Paul McCartney 2 era when he made this, a lot of experimental music. I think this is a great single and I am now thrilled to have the 45 of it. But that's not all. He also sent George Harrison's This Is Love. This is off his Cloud Nine album and I do see uh, I Got My Mind Set On You and When We Were Fab, but I never see this single. So that one was like a jaw dropper for me. Also another jaw dropper. This is original. It is Seaside Woman. It's from Susie and the Red Stripes, but it's um, Linda McCartney. You can hear Paul in the background. Incredibly catchy. And uh, they reissued her album this year. And uh, anyway, I think this is a really cool single. I was surprised to get this one. Paul McCartney Stranglehold, another one hard to find, and it's just like it's brand new off his Press to Play album, as well as Paul McCartney's Only Love Remains, another one for Press to Play that I never see when I'm out record shopping. And I've been looking at 45s a lot. Y'all know I have a jukebox. I look through the 45s. I never see those. Here is a beautiful copy of Coming Up, and it is the original that's on Paul McCartney too, as well as the Live at Glasgow versions. Another jaw dropper, I could not believe he sent this my way. It is from Paul McCartney too, and it is Waterfalls. I never, I don't think I've ever seen this in the wild. It is an amazing song that I really love. I am a huge fan of Paul McCartney too. Temporary Secretary, Coming Up, Waterfalls. I love his experimental side. I think it's great. And to have a beautiful single of this on the um, beautiful picture sleeve, unbelievable. Also, a beautiful copy of Listen to What the Man Said from Venus and Mars. Usually you see these, if they have an inner sleeve, it's, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the record sleeve, it's trash. That one is in perfect shape. A beautiful copy of My Love. You never see this one in good condition. This one plays beautifully. The song So Bad, it is one of my favorites from Pipes of Peace. Also, I still love Say, Say, Say by Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. I like that one too, but I've always been a big fan of this. I love that song. And finally, 
one of my favorite Paul McCartney songs. Absolutely nostalgic for me. Such great memories. And I, here's a 45 and take it away. Absolutely in beautiful condition. Uh, the pictures leave. There's not a crease. Anything. Just absolutely an incredible, incredible condition. So, I mean, words cannot express how appreciative I have been. You have been so kind to me, Mazzy. This is the end of my video, but please just go down below and click on the link and discover Mazzy's channel, Norman Maslow. You will really love it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments below. Take care. Bye-bye.